Hey, wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, wake up. Oh, there you are, darling. Did you have a good rest? <laughs> That's good to hear. Anyway, I brought you down some breakfast so you could get ready for the day. Look, it's your favorite. Scrambled eggs and toast, just the way you like it. Now, I need you to open your mouth and say, uh... <laughs> there you go. Such a good boy. I'm so happy you're letting me feed you now. You don't throw a big fuss when I try to feed you anymore. You've been so good lately. I'm really proud of how far you've come. I mean, before you were, well, uncooperative, to say the least. What do I mean? Well, I guess you were just, like, super hostile and would say mean things to me and were just generally annoying. Or, um, sorry for calling you annoying. You're not annoying. Not anymore, at least. But anyway, you're not like that now. Not anymore. Now you're just super... docile. No, that's not the right word. You're just super... amazing! <laughs> yeah, you've been so amazing recently. Hmm? You're not amazing. Don't talk about yourself like that, darling. Of course you're amazing. I mean, letting me feed you, not trying to struggle, not screaming when I ungag you, and I have so many examples of how amazing you are. I could go on forever. So don't talk trash about yourself like that, especially when it isn't true. But genuinely, you've been doing so well these last few weeks, darling. And I want you to know that I've noticed these improvements. And I really, really appreciate them. I know that there's still some work that needs to be done. But soon enough, I think I'll be able to trust you enough to take you out of those ropes. Isn't that exciting? You'll be able to walk around the house freely and be more independent. What do you think? Um, darling? Are you okay? You can talk to me. You know that, right? You're kind of just staring at... Well, nothing, I guess. Are you okay? Do you feel under the weather? Shaking your head, no. So you're not feeling sick? Okay. Well, what's wrong? I mean, that wall can't be more interesting than your girlfriend, after all, right? Oh, you were just spacing out. Um, okay, well, if you need to talk, I'm right here. You're fine. Well, if you say so. I know it must be hard to be stuck in one room all day. And I know your time at your new home hasn't been... Pleasant, to say the least. <sighs> Listen. <sighs> I'm sorry about all the stuff I had to do to you. And I know it must have been so scary and hurt so much. But that's all in the past now. And I promise if you keep up this good behavior, I won't ever do anything like that to you again. Okay? Alright. Anyway. Uh... What was I doing again? Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. I went off on a bit of a rant there and forgot to feed you. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay, open your mouth please. Mm -hmm. There you go. How does it taste? Do you like it? <sighs> You're nodding your head. That makes me so happy. I'm glad you like my cooking. Okay, here. Have another bite. <sighs> God, you're so perfect. You have no idea how long I've dreamt of this moment. 
I've always dreamt of being able to feed you. I know that's a bit of a strange dream to have, but it's true. And it's so hard to not think like that, you know? Well, because you're just so cute. You have no idea how adorable you are. Hmm? Um, darling, are you spacing out again? What's with that look you're giving me? Your eyes, they look... Empty. <laughs> hey, can I tell you something, darling? I love you so much more when you're like this. I mean, I always loved you, but these past couple of weeks have been exhilarating. Watching the hope die in your eyes and watching you slowly become more and more submissive has been wonderful. I don't think I've ever loved you more than right now, in this moment. There's just something about you. Maybe it's the glazed eyes, or the scars I've left on your body, or the marks on your neck. You're just... simply... perfect. <laughs> You're everything I could have ever hoped for. And now that you're complacent, our life together can really begin. The only thing that's a little bit unappealing... Well... You're not scared of me anymore. And that upsets me, darling. More than you can know. You see... I love you, honey. I love you so much that I want to see every part of you. I want to see you smile, and I want to see you cry. I want to see you laugh, and I want to see you shake in fear. <laughs> I want to see you beg for more, and I want to see you plead for me to stop. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I'm not doing this because I hate you, or want you to be completely terrified of me, but all I really want to do is see every part of you. The good, the bad, everything. But if you're broken, then how can I see all those lovely feelings? That won't do. That won't do at all. I guess I'm just going to have to try my best to fix you. I'm not exactly sure how, though. Believe it or not, but I'm not really a people person, so I'm not sure how to go about this. Well... Maybe the best way to make you feel again is to give you a really, really, really good reason to be afraid. I know my punishments don't really affect you anymore. I mean, you take so much of my special medicine all the time that pain doesn't really affect you anymore, huh? But I bet your friends and your family, they can still feel that pain, can't they? <laughs> hmm? What did you say? <sighs> yeah, I suppose you're right. You have been super good these past few weeks. And now that I think about it, that would probably make you hate me more than be scared of me. Hmm. And plus, if you hated me, then I would probably go crazy. <laughs> You really are the only thing that keeps me going, you know that? I think if I begin to try and play with your emotions in such a way, you'll probably just go deeper into that state. So I'll just wait. Until you're feeling like yourself again. Well, until then, you just stay on your best behavior, okay? Do you promise to be good for me? Good boy. Wow, you must have been really hungry, huh? The food's all gone. So what do you want to do now? I mean, we have the whole day ahead of us. Hmm. Oh, I know. How about I give you a reward for being so good, of course. 
Yeah, a reward. That sounds nice, doesn't it? How about I bring you upstairs and we can watch TV in my room? Yeah, that's right. You can lay in a bed for a bit and stretch your legs. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. We're just going to watch some shows, nothing else. I promise. Here, I'll handcuff you and we can go upstairs for a bit, okay? Doesn't that sound fun? Wait, what? You... You want to stay down here? But I don't understand. Why? You'd rather stay down here in my basement than go upstairs and lay in a comfy bed? Because you feel safe down here. Well, why don't you? Why wouldn't you feel safe upstairs? The boogeyman isn't gonna come get you if you just come upstairs for a few hours. <sighs> well, if you insist. I do kind of want to go upstairs and watch TV in my bed, though, so I might leave in a minute or two. Yeah, I'm like super tired. I haven't gotten much sleep. Well, I guess I'm just a bit paranoid that someone might come and take you away from me. The thought of me not being able to be with you keeps me up at night. Well, actually, the more I think about it, the less concerning it actually is. I read online that when there's a missing persons investigation, in the first three days, the police are looking for you. But after that, they're just looking for a body. <laughs> so I doubt after all this time, anyone is still looking for you that hard. Yeah, I'm sure they've probably given up by now. <laughs> That's what makes me different. I'm not like them, darling. If you ever went missing, I would spend my entire life searching for you. They don't love you like I do. They never will. I hope you know that. You know what? It's fine. I'll stay down here, and I'll stay down here with you and watch some TV. Really, it's fine. As long as I'm with you, I don't really care where we are or what we do. Okay. So you just relax, and I'll go upstairs and grab the TV. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not too heavy. Plus, I'm pretty strong, so it should be easy. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Oh, and one last thing. I love you, darling. 